What is up guys? It's been a long minute since I've actually done a YouTube video. I've just been so caught up with a baby, a lot of orders. You guys have kept me super busy and I'm super grateful that I have you guys to you know, keep my passion going. If you guys are new here this channel, I highlight my process on customs, restorations, really anything sneaker related, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, drop a like, feel free to sub. If you want to just watch the video to learn some wholesome things, I'm with it. But as we know, the electric orange Jordan 1 came out. It's not the worst colorway. However, people saw bricks and I saw opportunity. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my process and how you can get your electric orange from this into this. So stay with me. I'll go ahead and run over my process and let's get into this video. Let's talk paint mixtures real quick. So. In order to get the orange that I personally like, you can't just utilize your shattered backboard orange that Angelus makes. You also gotta add in about 30% of Buttercup. So, you wanna go about 70% shattered backboard orange from Angelus, and then about 30% of the Buttercup by Angelus. Mix those two bad boys together and we get our paint mix. Instead of going for Angelus flat black on the heel, what I'm gonna do is grab Phoebe's Black Pro dye. You can also pick up Angelus Jet Black dye. I just happen to like this brand a little bit more because it leaves the right hue of black. Of course, when it comes to prep on your surface, I always, always, always recommend Angelus Leather Preparer and a Glazer. I think we're gonna need Adhesion Bulldog Promoter. You always wanna spray this down before painting. Helps that paint become a lot more pliable and durable which in the long run is gonna create a more durable custom. Last but not least is my Soul Dye concoction. Really, it's not a secret. You just put sauce, barely one to two drops of dye, shake that up, and then we're just gonna paint it over the midsole. Let's go ahead and get into this process and start taping the shoe and show you guys the magic. I'm gonna go ahead and run over this heel. That way we can get all this factory finish off and um, get that dye to go a little bit deeper into the heels. Right, I'm super pumped with how the heels came out on this. I usually opt for dye just because it's more of a permanent solution. Once we seal it up with the matte finisher at the very end, it's gonna look factory. So, the next process of this, of course, is taping up the uppers. We've already dialed in the leather and removed all the finishes from the collar and then the leather heel. Now let's go ahead and tape it up. And then after we tape it up, we're gonna spray it down with some adhesion promoter. That'll allow that paint to really grab onto the leather and make it a lot more durable. Guys, this Wings logo took me a solid hour of just doing it by hand. I'm still gonna go in there and touch up little areas before I, of course, lay over the matte finisher. But this is the final product. Of course, if I had a stencil, it would have made this process a lot easier. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do.